Bonjour, Madeleines. Hello. Happy Wednesday. Wednesday? Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Welcome back to Let's Build the World. And welcome to the final part of Brindleton Isle Castle. We don't have a lot to do today. I've kind of finished and tweaked things a little bit off of camera. And all we've got to do today, really, is furnish the laboratory that one of our scientist sims is going to be making use of and then what i'm going to do is just wander around and play a test it a little bit play a test the whole lot just to see if it's working and that can kind of be the little tour sort of like portion shall we say um and just see how this cult that is not a cult gets on with this castle um, but yes, that's what we're going to do today. Tomorrow, we start on a new lot with a new family. Um, so that's what's going to be happening tomorrow. Yes, it is. We're joined by Blue and also a huge spot on my neck that, that I have just popped and it's absolutely throbbing. <laughs> Don't go in my comments saying you shouldn't pop spots. It's my spot. I can do what I want with it. Thank you. Thank you. Also, thank you so much for your wonderful, lovely, heartwarming comments on my latest vlog as well i am having the best time creating these vlogs for you guys and if you haven't watched it yet then you need to toddle on over and watch it because it will it will give you build inspiration as well like i hope you get some inspiration from these vlog videos and we're definitely going to carry on and do some builds that kind of reflect um the bath vibes or bath vibes that we had this weekend just gone um this week is mainly going to be let's build the world so it's going to be a let's build the world's week this week because of the vlog that came out yesterday um didn't haven't got haven't had time to start any new speed builds or design me devons or whatnot but then next week we're going to do a lovely speed build using some lovely custom content and we're going to create some maybe a nice regency house of some descript um i don't know how we're going to do that but that's what we're going to do so think bridgerton vibes and that's what the next speed build is going to be so yeah don't need to say anything else let's flop our tits in a bra and get over and start building okay my little darling queefs here we are we're back at bridgerton isle castle for the final time for the final time i have enjoyed building this it's just a very big build a very big build that i am looking forward to saying goodbye to um i've done a little th a few things off of camera i've changed these sort of like turret areas and made them a little bit more open and i thought what better thing to pop in here than just a little area for them to come and have some card games of an evening i like that for us and also this little like tea room. I thought this would have been a cute little addition where they could come and have a cup of tea and just have a lovely view and discuss all of their culty shenanigans that will be going on um, in this build. Uh, so that's what I did. That's what I did off of camera. I've also perfected, slightly perfected the area down here a little bit more as well. I changed the orientation of this here, um, made it a little bit more narrower uh, just so it kind of just connected straight through and what else did i do i didn't really do anything else to be honest with you this is the area that i'm going to be building off of camera and um, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this build up on the gallery without the secret room that i'm going to be putting in for storyline purposes when this save file is released so this is what we're concentrating on today leonard's laboratory so leonard likes to do experiments with plants and um, maybe some mystical creatures as well I'm going to try and make this lab look like he kind of just he's down here all the time kind of splicing species together not animals i reckon he's an animal lover but maybe he found some certain sea creatures that he likes to sort of like i don't know observe and take notes um that is the vibe that we're going for today yes it is thank you so i'm going to use one of these in here i think i'm just gonna no i might do two little ones like i did there as well um so i'm gonna put one there and flop one here like that just in case they need to sort of like shower this down um and we need some lot we need lots of lovely objects to go in here so let me go and grab an array of things that i can see in his laboratory and then um, we'll start placing them around together okay here we go right this is what we're starting on i am going to go in here actually just because i do want this kind of filtration system to be in here we're going with a filtration system um, I'm going to extend it around. I've also extended the size of the laboratory a little bit more than what it was before. 
So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to flop that to there like that. Beautiful. And we're going to get this filtration system going in here. I don't know if I'm going to keep it in green. Have we got any? Oh, we do have that coppery colour. We're going to have you, my love. Flop you to about there. In fact, I'm going to do two of them. Two of them to there and there. This keeps the water flowing for his science experiments. It's science experiments um, that I cannot um, spoil what these science experiments is going to be. But let's just say he is kind of bound to Caspian and Caspian's ideas. And that's all I'm going to say on it. There is a piranha in there, but please ignore the piranha. Um, <laughs> I wanted some other creatures in there as well. So maybe I'll follow in a minute and see if I can put some other creatures in there. Can I turn you sideways, Mr. Piranha? Oh, I can! Stunning! Right, here, we're going to put some hazard tape down here, just by the filtration system, so they know not to go nowhere near it, because there is the risk of a fire hazard. Um, I'll wrap it all around like that. Beautiful. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Maybe I should have put, like, the control panel, like, this way. Oh, can we? Oh, we can't, really. Well, we can go there. There. I hate rotating things. I hate it. There we go. Yeah, stunning. Yes. So those control panels are kind of facing outwards. We can do all of his shenanigans there. I'm absolutely for it. Right. We've got a little chemistry table going on this side, which I'm going to flop here. So this might be like the kind of workstation moment. Um, that we can put... Can I put these right next to each other? I should be able to, right? I should be able to. A cloning machine that I'm not going to spoil on, but I think you can kind of see where we're going. Where we're going with this. I'm going to put the cloning machine maybe there. I might move these a little bit further over this way now. I might even put like one. Oh, do you know what we could do? We could put one down below each and every one of these. So there's like this. Yes, let's do that. I am going to whiffle these a little bit more this way now. Um, same with you, my darling. And then flop you to about there as well. That is not equal, but it's going to have to do. In fact, that's going to make me cry. Let me pull you in a little bit further. And you as well. Beautiful. Ah, oh, for it. Absolutely for it. Nobody, apart from Lead and, and Caspian, again, are allowed inside of this um, uh, laboratory. So that is a thing. Um, I'm going to take you away. And I'm thinking... I'm going to... Oh, I won't be able to extend there, but I will here. Hopefully. It should be fine. I'm going to do like a decontamination room in here as well. So I'm going to flop you to there. Flop you on there as well, my love. And I'm also going to get that very expensive decontamination shower. There we are. Lovely. And I'm going to flop you to around about here. Um, you have to step in here before you're allowed inside the laboratory. Can I, shall I do two? Yeah, you can do... No, I'm going to do one. I'm going to do one. I'm going to put it right in the middle. Like so. Oh, um, for it. Yes. And I'm going to light that room back up again as well. With one of these bad boys. Beautiful. Um, and we'll figure out what else to do there in a minute. But for now, I really need a kind of desk space. A space where he works... Um, figures out all of his experiments, researches. So I definitely need a lovely, like, not, not this kind of desk. I really hate that desk. It makes me sad to look at it. But I'm thinking something along these lines. And I can flop the desk maybe, like, around about there. Yes, that's perfect. With a very fancy computer on it. So I'm going to use this one because it's the most expensive. Um, we'll do a kind of... This kind of chair in here as well, I think. No, no, I'm going to do like that. Where is that one that came with Get to Work? There it is, this one. This one. Um, and we'll bring the colour down a little bit. There we go. And I need some bookcases that kind of look like they could house um, scientific findings and files and whatnot. So it's probably going to be this one here. And we've also put a couple of filing cabinets next to them as well. Oh, I'm for it. Absolutely am. I might even do a smaller one just off the side here as well. Just for, um, yeah, just for that kind of purpose. I'm for that. Right. And then I think we need a clock in here. One of those. Yeah, these bad boys. We'll put one of those up there, darlings. Like that. Beautiful. 
Um, we need some decorative files out as well, if you would. I'm just going to text search for file. Uh, and I'm going to place a couple of these just on top here. Um, along with maybe a little cheeky lamp as well. Just for those nighttime activities. I, I reckon Leonard doesn't sleep that much. He is constantly down here. Doesn't really mix too much with the others. I reckon he kind of keeps himself to himself. He's not very friendly. Um, and that is the vibe that we're going for with Leonard. Yes, we are. Right, I'm going to flop you to there. What way does this need to go? It needs to go that way. So we'll do that way. Flop you to there. Scientific findings there. What could we put up on the walls? I mean, it doesn't really need a whole lot. I'm thinking it needs a kind of filtration system down here. So I'm going to get those. Where are they? Those vent things. They're these here. How big are you? Oh, you're perfect. You can you can come in. You're joining the party. I'm going to do one to there. One there. One there. I'm going to bring this all the way through. 100 simoleons a piece, this. Astronomical prices. But, you know, um, you've just got to go with it sometimes. Now I'm going to do the little corner moment around here. Bring you to about there, my dear. <clears throat> Back down this way. We're going to change it over for one of these. It kind of looks like it sucks air in. And I might even change the middle one of these out as well. Yep. Yeah beautiful and then all the way down to here as well all the way down and this kind of filters the air out it's weird how you can't get this one i'll just do it like that that's fine absolutely fine oh yes i'm full of the hats really am let's get that soil on the outside just because it makes me happy oh that one's poking through there i didn't even realize you need to come a bit further forward then my love there we go beautiful oh absolutely full of that and i'm thinking of using some of these down here as well but maybe not in the rusted look we'll go for this one here that just looks like there's a little bit of leakage going on a little bit of leakage yes yes i'm into it absolutely into that very much am very much am and i think we'll just do one of those single spotlights in here and i think i might just get in one of those red yeah, one of these into this room here. And maybe also this room, just in case there are any happenings going on in here as well. We can flop one of those in too. And we cannot forget, obviously, to get in some of those security cameras in here. Where are the security cameras? There they are. We're going to bring you down to here. We're going to put one up above the door. So they cannot get in those rooms. Um, we're going to put one here and I'm going to do another one on the other side, I think. There we are. Beautiful. Always under surveillance. Um, I think what I'm going to do is add one in here as well, just in case of any cave shenanigans going on. They would always be able to see what happens and who is where and what is going on, you know. And I'm for that. I really am. So, we've got this. We've got this. I might even... It's... Can I get a hazmat suit out no, just complete packages of a hazmat suit. Okay, well, uh, I thought we were going to get a lovely hazmat suit and we didn't. Um, I'm going to put a sink here instead then. I'm going to do, oh, do you know what? We could like make this into a little bit of a toilet for him, couldn't we? Oh, I can't do that because there's no toilets down here. Yeah, do you know what? I'm going to do, I'm going to put a toilet here. A toilet down here. One that looks a bit more electronic. There we go. Stunning. Uh, can I change the colour of you slightly? I mean... <laughs> we'll go for that one. We'll go for that one. And then I'll put a sink in this room here. I might even do it next to this chemical lab thingy-majig. The door's going to swing open there so I can fit a sink in there quite nicely. And we'll do that industrial one. Uh, I might even do it in a cop. Oh, no. Just, just with a gold... Yes. Yes. And then what I think we need is just some stuff up on the wall. So let me pull some bits out. And there we go. Just decorated it up a bit with some caution signs, some hand washing thingy my bobs, um, some more vents. I did this little area over here for the, with the fire extinguisher and whatnot, some 
caution signs. I also put another pipe in here going straight into the drainage system that gets filtered through um, and made into this water that Pepsi buys and sells to people, which is very strange, isn't it? Um, but yes, this is it. This I'm happy with how we've done this. I've also changed the door here as well. I've changed the door to just act a little, look a little bit more sciency. Excuse you, Blue. Did you just hear that in the background? Naughting away. But um, we are done with this. We are absolutely done with this. Look at all of the chickens lined up in a row. Bless them. I did put them like that because I am a Virgo. Um, but what we're going to do, I'm just going to do a quick little edit of some gameplay. And we see, and we can see what these guys get up to um, in Brindleton Isle Castle. Okay, darlings, we're here at Brindleton Isle Castle on this heat wave of a day in the summer. So it's very warm today. Um, the guys are all around doing their own thing. So I'm going to just take you around and just show you what they're getting up to. Caspian is in his bedroom. Just talking to himself and admiring his reflection in his very exclusive suite that nobody is allowed in. Nor are they allowed to know what is inside and how much luxury he is living in to compare to the rest of them. Um, Patel, are you okay, darling? Patel was on the floor dying then. For some reason. Nope, she wasn't. She was just doing the corpse pose. Loving a bit of yoga is Patel. Um, Teresa, what are you up to, my sweet? Where are you? Teresa is in here. Putting a glass on a shelf. Thank you, darling. That was lovely. You can clean that up if you like. Thank you. Oh, you can't get to it? What do you mean, Deba 2? There we go. <laughs> For some reason, she put this on this shelf now i've left this shelf completely open for you guys to do some canning because we do want the the cult that's not a cult to be able to sell some stuff on the little table that i left out the front here but also maybe in markets and things so canning goods fizzing goods um i didn't do any canning so i've left that completely free for you what is the matter with you squid a squid fled afraid of the fire i mean i don't blame you darling i really really don't don't blame me for that. What is everybody else up to? Paolo, what are you doing? Paolo is in here jamming out on his guitar for some reason. Stunning. Love it. Sophie the Sunfish in here drawing a naked person, you filthy bitch, um, in the creative room that we've got going on here as well. Have I missed anybody out? Leonard, did we see you? We didn't. Leonard is down here, obviously. In his laboratory where he spends... Oh, while in analysing, Leonard found a new element. Xenopetrium. Well, thank you very much, Leonard. Look at you go, darling. I'm absolutely for it. Um, But yes, they're all around. They're doing their own thing. I'm absolutely loving it. I like how this looks in... Oh, she does like painting, yes. Um, They're all around doing their own thing. And I love seeing this place in action. I really do. So we're going to give it a quick tour we're going to give it a quick tour. That's as much gameplay as you're getting out of me. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> chickens, where are you going, darling? Where are you going? I should shut that door for the chickens, really. Not allow them to escape. But there is a big, wide-open tunnel there that they can go through as well. So, whatever, you know. Anyway, look at us. All completely done with Brindleton Isle Castle. I'm absolutely for it. I really am. So, this is the main entrance that nobody is allowed through because this is... A very private dwelling. So you're coming through here. Stairs leading up there. Oh, hello, Patel, darling. Stairs leading up there straight away. We've also got a door going in there, too. You come out into the main castle courtyard where all the chickens are, and um, the well, the outside dining space. We've got the outside um, growing area as well where they grow all of their fruit, veg, bits and bobs. Um, all of their honey harvesting abilities can happen there as well. We've got a little private meditation room in here where they can sit down and worship the way of the fish, which I'm absolutely for. Sorry. <laughs> um, come through this way. I was going to show you all the chickens then, but we'll do that in a minute. We've just got a little private sitting area in there. Corridor going down that way. In here is the sitting area with a... Oh, I thought... Oh, it's squid sitting by the fire. You were just afraid of it just a minute ago. So this is like the sitting area slash kind of research study room where they like to research all things fish, including their Latin names. Um, their kitchen as well. Lovely big kitchen that I'm absolutely for as well. Um, in here, bathroom on this level. Downstairs into the basement. We'll go down there in a sec. 
we do have the dining room where they come and eat every day together as a cult sorry family um they do they do and then you come over here we've got a little room in here that is um just it's stocked up really stocked up with all of the bits and bobs for their gardening um maybe their festivities when they want to decorate a little bit of flower arranging as well um beautiful beautiful stunning absolutely lovely loves it love seeing this place kind of like in gameplay as well um the 10 minutes that i am going to show you <laughs> sorry five minutes now this is the bedroom so this is the bedroom where they all sleep um and get filmed on as well um a bit weird but you know this family sorry cult no family is just a bit strange in itself haven't finished this bathroom yet i do need to put a little mirror up and stuff i think so i'll do that before i put it up on the gallery um completely forgot about that to be honest um what else have we got going on in here so we got the oh bloody hell there's lots going on in here creative room i mean i'm loving these figure paintings i really am sophie you're doing well um so creative room another little sitting area going through there um look at that lovely view for that and then they've got their little tea room here as well where they come and just reflect have a little mindful moment to themselves and um, when they're not getting on with work and whatnot um i'm for it in here is the meditation room so they've got the meditation room in the turret where they come together collectively to have a little bit of mindful meditation together out through this way and we've got a little games turret as well where they can just sit down oh look at that lighting i'm very much for that um and yeah just reflect on what they've been doing and are they doing the right way with the way of the fair <laughs> now you can come up this way you can come up this way and you can not enter the i can't believe he's still in front of the mirror he loves himself don't he so obviously caspian's private quarters with um his own desk and also his little private uh kind of like um terrace as well paddling pool sun lounger cup of tea rocking chair places to grow his own bits and we've also got his private bathroom as well that's just full of everything you could imagine to keep his ego boosted um also the ladder from where we were before you can come up to this way and this is where they come to um grow some rather particular herbs and whatnots and some money trees i don't know where those are. the rest of those money trees have gone oh are you dying love oh well i don't know why that's dying and they come up here and do a bit of naked fire dancing as well um it's just part of their family cult family um down this way you come down into the stairs through here into the corridor into the corridor we have their juice fizzing room where they've got stocked up um so they can sell all of these bits and bobs at markets and whatnot and make some of their own with their um where's that desk gone it's just because of this camera mode um with the produce that they grow um on this lot you come through here this is obviously what we've just done leonard's um, laboratory leonard's just standing there talking to him oh no no he's doing a bit of work a bit of work don't know what work but he is um yes lovely more of that to come now through this way there will be another door coming through here at some point but that won't be until the save file is finished and this is the ceremonial pool room where new members but also existing members come to get replenished into the way of the fish. I also need to hide those lights a little bit better. <laughs> I'll size them down. But I'll make sure to do that as well. Before this is up on the gallery. But we're done loves. We are absolutely done with this build. Um, I'm absolutely for it. I really really am. Thank you so much for watching this. I really appreciate you. I know some of you guys like to see floor plans and whatnot. So I'm going to give you a little top down view of the place so you can see floor plans there we go pause when and if needed down onto that level and also down onto the basement level as well but we are done we are finally done with Brindleton isle castle i've had i've had a great time i have had a great time doing this build i really have um i'll be back again tomorrow with a new build a new family and um, so until then i will see you then my darlings goodbye